Hey guys, here's a video of the Casablanca Venus um, custom halo. Installed this in my front room, as you can probably tell from the update of the ceiling fans in my house. Uh, it was a huge hit in the house, everyone seems to really like it. It gives a really nice um, ambiance with the uh, uplight and such. Uh, I got a really good deal on this, and um, for what was a originally dead board, it came out perfectly fine. Works just normally. Um, I'm wondering if humidity had something to do with that because it was sitting outside under a tarp for probably a week or so. So uh, that could have contrib contributed as well. Uh, it's a really nice fan. It's not in great condition. There's some chips here and there on the blades and I'm actually starting to notice there's already dust buildup after maybe a few weeks of uh, install of constant use on high. Um, one of the blades does have a really good gash in the uh, gloss on top, and I think it's catching, which is making a little bit of noise, um, but it's nothing crazy. Um, I custom added two 100 quad um, incandescents and, and then changed them to LEDs because I don't want it to burn the plastic coating on the wires or fry the board from too much heat or what have you. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I was never really too fond of the Venus until I got one. Um, I've always kind of wanted one just to knock off the list, but now that I have one, I'm really glad I found one. Um, I never really thought it was something I would love this much. Um, anyways, yeah, let's get right into it. Not sure if you guys can hear that I have guinea pigs and a rabbit, so they're, of course, making some noise. Start off with demo mode. We do have plans to possibly add some cam lights and then make this more of like a uh, just um, maybe just maybe not the main light, but just kind of like a uh, added light. Now, one difference is between this and the stock Venus Halo is the Venus, the actual Venus Halo would have had 200, either 100 watt or 150 watt halogen bulbs. And there's a pan up top like this had. So, but the lights were kind of built in and went more, and went just upward. With these lights, it goes throughout the entire housing and it kind of comes out the, um, the blade, blade, mount I guess you could say um, which actually looks really cool unfortunately you do see some light coming through the flywheel but it doesn't it doesn't really affect it. it's not like something that you can really see all right let's go through general settings So yeah, it gives a really nice aesthetic low speed. Um, and in case you guys didn't know, today is National Ceiling Fan Day, September 18th. So of course I have the AC off. Not that it works anyways, but <laughs> it's been off for a while. I've been celebrating National Ceiling Fan Day for like the last couple weeks. Press key two. And unlike pretty much every other one of my Casablancas, this one actually did come with a, uh, with a control. Um, the only ones that come with controls are the ones that I buy offline, off Craigslist or OfferUp or what have you. And this I got off of OfferUp, my Panama, which also came with the control, came from Craigslist. Both my Panamas came from Craigslist and both of them came with the controls. Also, my um, Saturn came from Craigslist. Three. Something I wasn't really aware of, um, I didn't really consider this, but the stepped canopy, which is what this has, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, from the motor housing, if you want to call it, um, 
Um, it's actually also a recall hang true, but it does not have a recall clip as I only have one. So that's being used on a different fan. This is the four. I'll click on the light there. Let the um, Saturn does too. When you're changing the speed on the fan, the light goes up too. Light, the light only comes on when you're changing the fan speeds. It turns off once you stop holding down the button. HD6. Another thing I will mention, um, unlike the Saturn, which is very sought out after by almost all collectors, um, you know, a lot of them say it's really modern and fits in a lot with today's design. But I think the Venus, though they are this pretty much the same age, um, mine are it anyways. They're, they're very close. I don't I don't remember the exact date. Um, Design-wise, the Venus is held up far better than the Saturn. Um, you know, the Saturn, you can only have it fit specific design cores. The Venus will fit contemporary, modern, traditional. Um, it, it's just, it's a very versatile fan. It's much like the Panama or the Delta, or the Lady Delta, just to name a few. Um... I wasn't expecting this to clean up as well as it did. I actually took the entire fan apart because the, both the motor housing or motor cover, I, I don't even know what to call it because it's, it's not really an entire housing. And the um, blade mount assembly, they're coated in dust and the center ring decoration thing was covered in dust. Um, for the blades, I'm probably just going to use some white out and touch it up. But yeah, there's the uh, Casablanca Venus. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next video.